Iowa Congresswoman Dr. Marionette Miller Meeks of House Homeland Security. Congresswoman, it's terrific to have you back on. Let's first watch the president today finally admit for the first time the border is not under control. Watch this. Mr. President, what's your reaction to the images from the southern border? Get it under control. Get it under control or you have it under control. We will get it under control. There you go. He said it twice. Congresswoman, just the numbers quickly. New reports coming in. 24,500 more migrants heading to the border. Those reports coming in. Year to date, about the equivalent of Wyoming and Montana combined have tried to cross the border and been apprehended. Your reaction to this? Well, I think you uh, hit the nail on the head. When you think about the number of illegal immigrants who have come into our country this year alone, it uh, exceeds the population of the state of Montana. So we know the border has been under, uh, is not under control. We know that uh, the border is de facto open. Many of us have been criticized for saying the border is open, but the border is open. The images are horrifying when you see what's happening at the border. And earlier this year, when I made my first border trip, I asked about COVID-19 testing, and they are not doing COVID-19 testing. I also inquired this of Secretary Mayorkas, uh, who said that they would do testing at their end facility. But the reality is they're not doing COVID-19 testing. They're not doing COVID-19 yeah. vaccinations with the Haitian immigrants coming up from South America. Remember, the Lambda variant is in South America, that we don't know what, uh, what it will unfold in the United States when we're already trying to get through the Delta variant. So it is a mess. It is chaos at the border. And the, the Border Patrol is overwhelmed. They're not being supported by, by this administration. And the border is not secure. You know, we've got this debate now coming in about the Border Patrol official on horseback. He has a split rein that's used to control the horse. Uh, the vice president is saying there should be an invest investigation into his using, and, and it, it appeared to be used as a whip, but it wasn't. Uh, so the vice president is in charge of the border. It's the first time she spoke out, but to attack the border uh, patrol here, Congresswoman, after she's saying, we're, you know, we're going to try to get at root causes. There's a whole lot of other problems at the border. Your reaction to this? Well, first of all, you know, the crisis at the border is the fault of the person who resides at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Um, you know, I think it's atrocious. Either people haven't been around horses or they've never been on horseback. It's obvious when you look at the video, when you look at photographs, that they're trying to manage their reins. So, in fact, the horse, which they get skittish among a lot of people, so that the horse doesn't do anything. And I think it's, you know, they are, are looking for ways to criticize this. You know, the progressives on the left want to defund the police. They want to get rid of ICE. They want open borders. So they think if they portray this uh, narrative and they uh, yeah. they denigrate and demean the Border Patrol, that they'll be able to further their narrative. So it's just atrocious. It's obvious what this uh, Border Patrol agent is doing, and he's trying to protect those people on the ground yeah. and prevent the horse from, from going forward. We've got to move on to this. We've got news coming in. A top counterterrorism official, Christine Abazad, is now saying that the, their intelligence agencies are reassessing the rapid developing threats of terror groups in Afghanistan. Let's show the list of crises that the White House is now facing. Your reaction to Christine Abazade's comments here, what do you think, what is your reaction to that? Well, I've said this for four months. Uh, I've done interviews on this and have said very openly that because of the botched withdrawal, because of the lack of intelligence, intelligence on the ground, giving up a Bagram air base, uh, that we can't conduct over the horizon counterterrorism. Uh, we have seen that in the drone strike that you mentioned earlier, which ended up killing 10 civilians, seven of which were children. So we are lacking uh, on the boots. We're lacking intelligence gathering information. And we are less safe now than we were at, uh, you know, uh, before 9-11. So, Yes, maybe our um, uh, intelligence agencies have less silos, but the ability to gather information, to conduct counterintelligence missions, to send drones or to act upon information, yeah. we don't have that any longer. And it's no surprise that there would be uh, those who wish harm to the United States and other Western countries and our allies. Okay. No surprise. We've got Senate Republicans on Homeland Security really going after Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas and the FBI Director Ray on this, on the president's weak national security policies. Watch what happened. The catastrophic way the Biden administration withdrew from Afghanistan, surprising our NATO allies and abandoning our Afghan allies, has left us without eyes and ears on the ground. It has also signaled to the world that the United States is an unreliable partner. How many people have been returned? How many people are being detained? How many people have been dispersed to all points around America? 
Uh, Senator, I would be pleased to provide you with that data. I want them now. Uh, Why don't you have that information now? Uh, Senator, I do not have that data. Why not? Me. Why don't you have that basic information? Senator, I want to be accurate. Do you bear responsibility for the crisis in Del Rio? Yes or no? Senator, the, um, the smuggling organizations... Yes or no, Mr. Secretary. Do Senator, you bear responsibility for the humanitarian crisis in Del Rio? Yes or no? Senator, it is my responsibility to address the human tragedy in Del Rio, to address that, and we are doing so. That is my responsibility, and we are executing it as the Department of Homeland. But you don't think you've played any role, and your policies have played any role in fostering and fomenting this crisis that has ensnared so many thousands of people. Senator, what we are learning from our interviews with individuals is they are receiving false information and misinformation from the smuggling organizations that traffic in the exploitation of vulnerable individuals. Well, so in other words, it's someone else's fault. All right, Congressman, let's break this down. Last month, the border, excuse me, Homeland Security Secretary admitted that this is, quote, unsustainable, that, yes, this is a crisis. He said it in private, re private recorded messaging, uh, messages. Now he, he keeps calling it a challenge. It's not a tennis match. It's not a chess game. It's not a challenge. It's much, much, much more than that, right? I mean, and so this, when you weaken the border, you have chaotic cr crimes and much, much more. Your final word on this. So uh, they've weakened the border, they've opened the border, they sent out a message for people to come over because we weren't going to deport Haitians. This is a fault, again, that originates with the policies of this administration. It's their crisis. They, we don't have border security here. We have, uh, you know, betrayed our allies in Afghanistan. Uh, they don't know where we are. Of we have no eyes and ears on Iran, Russia, or China. So, yes, we're in a precarious yeah. position. So thank you for bringing attention to this. And if I may, I just want to wish my husband a happy birthday. Happy oh, birthday, Kurt. Happy birthday, Kurt. Thank you for that, for that little touch there. Congresswoman Marion at Miller-Meeks, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us.